Can I have my skeleton hold my <laughs> iPhone? All right, hold still, buddy. I have it jammed into his clavicle. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. I thought I would share with you my after holiday tradition of dealing with the leftover carcass of the turkey that my husband prepares for major holidays. Footage I'm going to share with you was actually after our Thanksgiving dinner. I was remiss and too busy with the end of the semester, so it did not is not going to be going up until today. As chance has it, we have another major holiday. Some of you perhaps cooked a turkey dinner for Christmas, and this is one of my favorite ways to deal with leftover turkey. So thank you for joining me. Let's meander over to the kitchen. My annual turkey pot pie. All of my mise en place is set up already. I've made the dough. I have all of my ingredients, blanched kale, gravy left over from yesterday's turkey dinner, pre-blanched cubed potatoes and carrots, frozen peas, and leftover turkey mixture of dark and light meat. First step will be to roll out the pie dough. So that's what I'm doing. It is chilled. I don't know how much of this will be usable footage, but I will attempt to get the relevant aspects on film. All right, first thing I do is figure out which one of these is bigger. I want a larger bottom crust than top crust. Top crust won't have to stretch as far. These have been chilling in the fridge for about, I wanna say an hour. Oh, that was close. Just wrapped in plastic wrap. For bench flour, I'm using King Arthur all-purpose flour, just, just enough, and just a flat pin. The dough is fairly stiff because it is chilled, so I'm just going to take it slow, rotate. Rotating as I go, making sure it's not sticking. This is just a simple 3 2 1 pie dough, which just refers to ratio of butter to flour to liquid water. So I use King Arthur flour every time I bake because I've done some extensive culinary training and with bread and pastries. And I think it's the best tasting flour out there. And I'm actually quite pleased that it's consistent and available in local grocery stores. So I use this for all of my bread needs, artisan bread, and all my pastry needs, which I suppose a Pastry chef would actually seek out a softer flour for this, but it's a savory pie. And I'm just basically eyeballing the size. I'm gonna go a little larger on my rolling. And it is about an eighth of an inch thick right now. A few tears, but nothing too bad. And yeah, it's a very tender, tender crust, um, butter-based, of course. All right, by rolling it, I'm activating some of that gluten. So it will shrink a little bit when I transfer it to the pie tin. I'm using a pie tin that I've had forever. I love 
this deep dish pie dish. I have no idea where I got it. I think my husband got it for me early in our marriage. And I'm just letting that crust kind of fall into the pie, encouraging it to relax in and not bothering to trim anything off the edges yet because I'm gonna want that overhang in order to fold the top dough over. Thought about lining this with Dijon mustard, so I'm going to do that. Just a nice savory touch. Here we have Dijon, a little pastry brush, and I'm just going to, for a savory flavor, brush some across the bottom of that pie dough. Totally unnecessary step, but we enjoy Dijon. We enjoy full flavored dishes. So uh, this would also be delightful with, you could layer a bit of cheese here. I'm not going to because I've already got plenty of um, full fat in this pie. This is now ready to fill. Um, for my first layer, I think I will place a little bit of my turkey directly on the base layer. Make sure my blanched kale is as dry as possible. So I'm squeezing it out before I place it around the base of the pie. The kale ought to keep its vibrant green look. If I were of course, in Tuscany, I would keep all these layers distinct. This is the pre-blanched carrot and potato. Doing a full layer of that. It is time to go in with some of the chilled gravy, which I'm going to, as it heats, it will fall down into all of those layers. You could, of course, throw it all in a bowl and pre-mix. I'm just not going to do that. A good layer of gravy. As that heats, it will meld with all those lower ingredients. If you have any bay leaf, you want to pull it out. At this point, no one wants to choke on a bay leaf as they're eating. Your pot pie is complete without peas. More turkey. All right, that is the pie. All I need to do is roll out a top crust, drape it over the top, and seal it. Oh, and cook it, of course. Just going to slowly start working it, just like the bottom crust. just so I'm sure it's not too dry and crumbly with that flour on the bottom.
go a little larger because the mound on this pie is fairly substantial. As you can see, it is quite a bit of dough, but I enjoy that. And I'm not, I'm making sure I'm not really stretching it because I don't want that to shrink. I want it just to drip. Did not add any additional water or anything like that to serve as food glue. I'm just, it's a, uh, tender crust with plenty of hydration, so I know they're going to stick together. All right, now all I need is a fluted edge, pressing down and fluting the edge between my fingers. Nothing fancy. I don't mind these little ugly bits that don't really show evenness because this is Rustic pie. About ready to go in the oven. Just needs a little vent on top. Vent in the center, just a little X, and then some vents along the top. I'm not going to egg wash it because it's going to be in the oven for quite some time. Just like that. Okay, into the oven. Pie? Pie. Fresh out of the oven. I'm gonna let it rest for about 10-15 minutes, otherwise it will be molten lava and impossible to eat. Over on the stove, we have some gravy heating up. I'm going to go ahead and cut into the pie. to serve it up in bowls. First slice is always going to be a little messy. Pull mine out first. Oh. Okay, it won't really be gorgeous until tomorrow because that's just the nature of the beast. It needs to chill before it can be sliced. I'm going to put it over here to cool and two Popeye dishes. Scooping up the gravy. By tomorrow this will be I'll be able to portion this into remaining slices. This is a very informal vlog like wrap up of the 
annual turkey pot pie. Now my task is to portion it up. We are gonna have another portion this evening. Taking the rest and cryo packing it for the freezer. So there will be about half a pie left after this evening to enjoy on those busy weeknights when you don't have any time to breathe, let alone cook. Something like this reheated slowly in the oven with a little leftover turkey gravy, which freezes quite easily is and served with a little side salad is just a wonderful hot winter meal. I think we can get in there and you can see the layers of vegetables and leftover turkey. The green vegetable is kale, which I feel is a wonderful green addition to the pie. Bon appetit. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more culinary content on my channel, leave me a comment below with any kind of special requests. I love slow food. I'm very fortunate that the man I fell in love with was a chef when I met him. And as I believe I mentioned in the video before, he sort of handles the Thanksgiving dinner. And this is my contribution to Thanksgiving and the aftermath. Because the vacuum machine is so loud, I didn't really want to take you through that process. But we have two portions ready for the freezer and then dinner tonight. I'll just drape this with a little bit of foil so it doesn't dry out and reheat it in the oven. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. Hit like if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you again in my next video. Ciao.